Jerry, how important do you think uh, this season was in your development? Um, it was huge. Obviously, it was a stepping stone in a lot of ways uh, from my call up till uh, you know the playoffs here. How, how much success we had as a team and myself. So uh, I could take nothing but positives from this year. When you look at the team and how they were as a group, uh, can you talk about how close this team ha was over the year? And has it ever been like that before for you? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you, you don't get too many teams like this. And as the year went on, you grew and grew uh, to love these guys more and more. And obviously, playing until till June here, you, you get to know them a lot. And uh, sometimes you're sick of them. Sometimes you love being around them. But that's how a family is. You know, that's that's how it goes with with a team that's uh, so successful. So uh, I got nothing but good things to say about this team. I'm, Sad to be leaving it, and uh, you know a lot of things. You know you wish you uh, could have back, and you wish you could go to the championship and win a win a championship. But you know that's how the cards play out sometimes. That's one of the toughest things about the American Hockey League is the team never is the same the next year. It happens, of course, a little bit in the National Hockey League. But what's being said to you about where Jerry D'Amigo goes and how he gets there next? Um, well, it all depends on the summer. You know, obviously, I gotta keep on improving on this year and, and see what happens uh, next year with, with the contract and, and everything like that. So uh, next year I just got to come into training camp, do the same thing I did this year and, and uh, try to hit the ground running. Jerry, talk about the, the playoff run this year. Obviously it's disappointing to lose in a game seven, but talk about the camaraderie and, and the, you know, the energy level in the locker room and you know, even, even going from the hotel to the, to the, the game. Talk about um, that. I mean, guys were excited to come to the rink. I mean, that's, that's all it was. Guys wanted to be here. Uh, and, you know, this time of the year, you know, guys want to go home on, on some teams and, and are ready to, you know, call it a day. But, you know, for us, I think we were all bought into the system, wanted to win, and, and you know, it showed in our, in our play. Uh, this obviously isn't the first long run that uh, you've had with this team. How did this year compare to the 2012 finals run? Um, obviously, it's, you know, a little different. Um, but at the same time, you know, you have that excitement. You have uh, the enjoyable moments all the time with, with the guys and, you know, the games. Um, overtime, you know, all those things come into play that, you know, make make the, the playoffs worthwhile. Uh, this was your first real extended shot at the NHL this year. Uh, was the experience what you thought it would be? Uh, that and more. You know, it was uh, a great experience, and I'm glad I got the opportunity to, to show, you know, my talent, and, uh, you know, hopefully I can just improve on that. Jerry, talk a little bit about the, uh, the coaching staff. Steve Spot comes in here as a rookie head coach. Obviously, Gordon Ian and Derek King still here, but talk about the coaching experience you had compared to what you had with Dallas Eakins and now Steve Spot. Um, well, Gordon and Kinger were were there from the start, you know, when I was here, and they were just been great guys to, to me. And I can say nothing but positives about them. They they've helped me shape my career and uh, with Dallas. But you know, Steve's come in and he's done a great job with us. He he brought us all this way and uh, coached us the way he wanted us to be coached and and got us to play how he wanted us to play. So. Uh, it's been a great year for him and, and for us as well. You were put in the leadership role this year. What did that do for your game and how did that affect you at all? Well, obviously, you got to take it upon yourself to help other guys. And when they're in trouble, if they need a little guidance, uh, you know, I've been through it, you know, three, four years. So, you know, I have a little, I have my two cents to give to the guys. So I think that was, you know, a good thing for me to, to share with the other guys and try to help them in their careers as well. Jerry, how long does the beard last? Uh, I guess we'll see. You know, I'm going to go get a trim today, see what happens from there. And, you know, try to support the beard as long as I can. But if not, then I guess I'm going to have to shave it all off. How long did it last last time? Uh, last time I shaved it right after. But, you know, two years ago, I think I had, uh, I had it for another week or two after. So.